Good morning, how are you? Welcome to this week's vlog. This vlog is mostly, of course, going to still be updating you guys on my reading, but um, it's also going to be, I think, I want these memories to be able to look back on. I want to be able to talk about um, everything that's going on in the world and in my life because I feel like we all need to chat about it and sometimes when I make videos I just think to myself like if I put out like oh a January TBR and the whole video I'm so excited and so happy to be reading books sometimes I just like take a step back and I'm like how on earth can I how can I sit and film this when there's so when there's so much going on but then you know i take an even further step back and i'm like no like that is the reason you can film this because people need this i need this everyone needs this everyone needs something that is happy that is normal that makes you excited for life because my what is today today's the fourth <laughs> it hasn't even been a full week into the new year um has been a very rough start honestly and on one hand um it's cool to me to see how i can kind of respond or react to whatever comes up in this case what has happened kind of this week and how i think i deal with it pretty well but then sometimes there will be moments and i'll just sit down and i'll be like wow did i even deal with any of that or did i just accept it um, I'm someone who's really good at just accepting whatever happens, but just because you accept it and let it happen and don't try to fight against it doesn't mean you're really dealing with it or understanding it. I think the, the pandemic is getting quite bad here. You actually can't even get a COVID test to find out if you have COVID, so that's great. Um, but I think for so long the pandemic was, was something that I just didn't really care about and not care about in the sense that you know i was being unsafe or something but because i was dealing with the concussion so much when it happened i had something in my own personal like health world that was so much more painful and bigger and so much more scary to me than um the pandemic and now that it's been you know two years since that and it's almost been two years with the pandemic i I've grown a lot as a person and thankfully my health has improved drastically from where I was two years ago, but um, for me, I've noticed it's been more and more a waking up to what is actually happening because before it didn't, to be honest, it didn't affect me at all because I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't seeing people. I was on the couch in immense pain <laughs> and suffering and just trying to get through my days. And so none of that mattered to me. Lockdowns didn't matter to me. Quarantine didn't matter to me. I just was not even on that scale of worrying about the pandemic because I was in my own little hell. It just feels as more time is passing, I'm more waking up to the fact that we're all going through a global pandemic. And that's been honestly a shock um, that I didn't really think was going to occur because obviously in this whole two years I've known there's been a pandemic, but um, it hasn't really hit me in the way that it is now. And I think now because um, I'm experiencing this level of severity in the pandemic in my area, well-being, like <laughs> feeling pretty much like a real person, feeling here, feeling in the present moment, it's uh, hard. It's hard for me because it feels like I haven't done this before, even though I've technically lived through this before like two years ago. Yesterday, anyway, it's a long story, but potentially my family has COVID, probably my brother has COVID, he is in quarantine right now, but um, they're just all kind of waiting to see because um, I've also never been in a, a position where someone close to me has had COVID, which is, uh, I think, very lucky throughout the whole pandemic. It's always been like the friend of a friend or something, but now it's people who are close to me and like potentially my whole immediate family. That's been a bit stressful since kind of just found that out yesterday um, and it's just something I've never gone through before and I wanted to share here again as well. It's been also quite um, upsetting because school is going to go back online and that's going to mean uh, more of a fight, I think, for me with the concussion symptoms to navigate a wholly on online uh, educational experience which wasn't something I would be thrilled about even if I didn't have this condition. It's just felt like a lot of bummers in the first week. Um, I haven't been feeling 
very well. I've just been feeling like I want to sleep the whole day away. I want this vlog to be a lot more real because I think, I mean, I hope mostly my channel is positive, but you gotta have, you gotta have some reality in there. And I'm not gonna try to make this vlog like, oh, turning around my life, making myself happy in a week because that's not realistic at all. This week is just gonna be rolling with the punches and seeing what happens. If there's something you wanna get off your mind, if there's anything that like any of us here can do for you, we're literally, everyone in the comments is just so nice. You guys just down me, so we're all here for you. Um, I'm here for you. That's where we are. A great start to this vlog. That's how it's going. This is also my last week off before, you know, diving back into online school. So I wanted to share it. I wanted to get back, back into more regular vlogging and stuff. So that's where we are, but it's okay because we have books. We have the sun. There's been a lot of sunlight these past couple of days, which is nice. We have YouTube and we have school prep to do and there's still a lot to do. Um, and because I'm probably just gonna be in my apartment for this whole entire week, just waiting to see what happens, um, why don't we do some cleaning? I'm still feeling honestly pretty good. Uh, last night was pretty rough, but I'm feeling a lot better this morning. Had a good cry, had a good stress cry. Um, but I am doing better. I did some yoga. I'm trying to do yoga with Adrienne, uh, her new 30-day challenge, and that's been really good because I want to get stronger this year as well as a goal, and yeah, that was a nice morning. So now I think I'm going to sit down and film a video. Hey, it is a bit later now. Uh, it's seven o'clock almost. I'm currently uploading my best, <laughs> best books of the year video. Um, on my laptop, which I haven't done before because I edited it on my laptop for the first time and it's kind of stressing me out because it is going so slowly. It's only at 12% and I swear I started uploading it like an hour or something ago. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have to stay up all night and watch this thing, try to upload, but um, on my computer, it does not take this long. So anyway. What I'm currently reading are these two Tolstoy works. We have A Calendar of Wisdom, which is just every single day quotes that Tolstoy has pulled that create a theme for the day. So I obviously read mine from today. I've actually been hating this. <laughs> We're only on day four, but um, the first like one, two, three, like this literally just says Tolstoy, please stop. Um, I don't think Tolstoy and I would really get along as people. So this is going to be really interesting to try and see what he's going to what advice he's going to try to give me essentially every day. And then I am currently in the middle of The Raid by Tolstoy, which is a very short story. It's only around like 28 pages, but um, I've just been reading that for the Dickens versus Tolstoy since we're going to be reading reading The Raid and Sevastopol stories. Um, I'm still reading Neon Gods. Guys, why can't I finish this? Why am I not? Why am I struggling to get through this? I'm on page 286. Um, I could finish this probably tonight if I really tried. I have like nothing left, but it's just not, not getting that feeling that I want to keep picking it up and reading it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not there with it. I'm finding it really repetitive. I do think Hades and Persephone's relationship in here sometimes is really cute. Um, there's definitely a lot of smut and stuff, but like, honestly, it's not... I'm not there. I don't know. I'm just not liking, just not really liking it. It's fine, but it's definitely not something that I'm like, yes, I want to sit down and read this right now. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. The first movie that. I actually watched this year was The King, which I just finished a couple nights ago um, on Netflix. And I really liked it. I thought it was really good. The whole time, I, <laughs> I'm like one of these people that if I don't know what's going on in a movie, like because of the historical time period, I will like pause every five seconds and like look up things and like read a bunch of articles online because I hate like not knowing something uh, especially if I'm watching a movie about it anyway I got to the end and I was like wow I love this movie that was great but then it wasn't until the next day that I realized it was based on um Henry the fifth Shakespeare's Henry the fifth <laughs> <laughs> and it made so much sense after I found that out that the movie was based on the Shakespeare version of King Henry V. Um, <laughs> it made so much sense. Anyway, really liked it. So that was the first movie of the year. We're off to a good start. We got our first movie. of. Oh, we're at 14%. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is sit down and read some of this. I have my bed sheets washing in the dryer. I'm just trying to make it nice and cozy in here. But I do want to finish this. Because I have so many more books I want to read before I literally just get stuck into the school stuff. So 
yeah that's what my night is gonna look like oh i like my shirt perfectly blend okay that's creepy i don't like that at all it looks like i'm floating probably doesn't on your screen right now but what i'm seeing my head looks like it is completely detached from my body oh that's trippy okay we're done here i'm gonna go read It's the next night. Um, let's start with a reading update because I can feel myself getting very reflective and sad. So I finished Neon Gods yesterday, uh, last night. And overall, I would honestly say it was a little bit disappointing for me. I gave it three stars. Um, there's a lot of like politics in here concerning the different Greek gods. And of course, like between the lower city and the upper city where um, mostly Zeus rules over in the lower city, which mostly Hades rules over. As for the romance, it like, it was fine. I don't know if this is my favorite Hades and Persephone Greek myth retelling I've ever read. Uh, I read A Touch of Darkness last year. Um, did I like that one better? I felt like I might have because this one was honestly very repetitive, which I think is what I was saying, like in the scenes, um, in the scenarios and the problems that they were having with each other and the way they talked to each other it just felt very repetitive and honestly like the end of this book it is a series but the next book i think follows um psyche and eros so it doesn't follow the same couple the ending felt very rushed to me so overall a little disappointed but i read my first romance of the year and i hope to read a lot more this year too so yeah i did finish that which was good it's now about 9 p.m uh, and I'm feeling unmoored. Hey, December. Guess I'm feeling unmoored. I don't know what it is about, well, it's definitely not just the nights. I don't want to just blame it all on the dark winter nights, um, because I love winter, but I would say, I think throughout the day, this feeling builds of being a little bit, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, and also I'm still stressed out and I want to have a nap every hour and everything that I love doing, I somehow for some reason don't want to do. I feel bored, but I also feel restless, but I also feel stressed out, but I also feel like I want structure and routine and I want to work. And somehow all of that accumulates in me, uh, sitting or sleeping and now talking to you guys and being like, what is happening? been feeling a little bit lost these days um it's strange because i really want to do youtube i'm loving doing youtube it's my job it's my love <laughs> of my life um and of course school is starting back up and i really want to do school i love school um and if honestly those things were taken away from me all over again i know that i could cope with that and i'm very good at finding the small moments and just being able to exist, you know, not having a job, not having academia, and not having my health, and I know that, and now that I have these three things to an extent, uh, I feel overwhelmed, but also at the same time with everything going on, I feel like I am unable to do any of them in the way that I want to. I always think of that quote from Rilke, which is, may what I do flow for me like a river, and the other one, which is pretty much saying the same thing, um, I want to unfold, let no place in me remain folded, for there where I am folded, I am a lie. Um, and it's not flowing, guys. It's not flowing like a river over here. Um, and I wanted to share that because it's 9 p.m. and I've done pretty much nothing for the past few hours. I just have this weird, headachey, stressed out, tired feeling. Um, I don't want to say for no good reason because I don't think that's fair on myself and I am just trying to get easy on myself and be okay with it but it's a really frustrating kind of relentless feeling that's really hard to put into words but I know a lot of people experience it especially during like the long hours of the winter nights when everything just feels so uh, hopeless 
I don't know why I'm crying right now. But it's okay because the goal this year is also just to open up more about whatever, you know, journeys we're going on this year inside and out and in the bookish world and in the emotional world. My brother has COVID and now my parents are waiting to see if they have it and then I'm kind of waiting to see if I have it because I was just over there a couple days ago visiting. Um, so yeah, I feel okay. I feel fine symptom wise. I'm just have this feeling which is complete. Well, it's not completely unrelated, but you know what I mean. Overall, I'm just feeling lost. I'm starting to feel like every day is the same and I don't know what to do with myself. I was really looking forward to going on a trip in January that I had planned out last year, but obviously that's not going to happen now. Just been feeling really down in the dumps this week. I have had some really good moments. Um, yeah. No, I haven't. What am I saying? I also do not in any way want these, um, or like this new style vlog, or maybe just this vlog. We'll see how it goes in particular to come across as dramatic or anything like that, because at the end of the day, I'm completely fine. I'm very lucky. I don't want this to come across as complaining or anything like that, but uh, as well, I don't ever want to just like gloss over things and pretend that, you know, everything's all fine and dandy because uh, I'm not. Yoga with Adrian has been really good. Uh, I'm on day, I'm a, I think I started a day behind. So I'm on day, I'll be on day four tomorrow, day four or five tomorrow. Um, and that's been really good. And I already feel myself improving, which is really great because I just need to rebuild my strength and flexibility. Um, I've also been getting such a huge urge to write. I miss writing and I really want to write a book, but it's like, I'm still trying to balance YouTube and school and I just, I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing um, <laughs> with the rest of my life. I'm having one of those nights where I'm like, Emma, what are you doing? Right now I'm doing something I love and that's always what I've wanted to do. Um, in terms of my like degree and school, I know for sure I'm gonna finish off this semester um, get the credits for both of these classes that I'm in. That is something I'm going to do 100%. And after that, like, I'm honestly not sure. I'm very unsure of what the future holds. And it doesn't really scare me so much as, like, <laughs> annoy me. So, I think <sighs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up a new book. I'm going to start a new book. I'm going to sit down with it. And then maybe I'll just go to bed early. And maybe that's the best we can do tonight. And that's okay. Please don't fall on my head. And I'm going to start The Ice Palace. Um, I hope this book tears me apart. Can you please absolutely devastate me? Thank you. <laughs> that's what I'm in the mood for. Um, okay. So we're going to start this, guys. And we're going to see how it goes. And that's going to be, I think, my night tonight. Okay. This is a good sandwich, and it's snowing. It is one o'clock, and I'm now going to get dressed. Okay, I am ready for my day. Today's gonna be a good day, is what it, uh, I put on a polar bear necklace, so it better be a good day. I tried to dress very happy in nice bright colors, um, but it is snowing and it is so beautiful. Yoga this morning was absolutely delightful. It was very, very good. Really love that. Um, my hair feels nice. It's growing out nicely, which I'm really happy about too. And I think another thing that is just 
Ugh, I just want to do it and it always makes me so calm and happy is film an ASMR video. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be like another kind of study with me once. We're gonna knock two birds out with one stone. Sorry, Mr. Birds. I also did start this last night uh, and look at how much I got through. I was reading more of this this morning too, but like I said, this is the Ice Palace. Uh, okay, this is an amazing. I am getting blasted with cold wind because I love having the windows open all of the time, no matter how cold it is. I'm always warm. I'm always like hot all the time and I don't like being warm and I like crave the cold. And honestly, this is amazing. There's just so, so much imagery of ice. It is super quick to get through. I'm already 66 pages through and it's really not very long. So I think I'll have this finished up in this vlog too, but um, the novel starts with two girls. I'm gonna mispronounce their names probably, but Sis and Un, they become really close friends, like over one night all of a sudden, Un is pretty much an outcast, or is it Un? 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 And... Is someone looking at me? No, it's just a vase. It's a vase that looks like a human head. There is a frozen waterfall that has kind of created like an ice palace. Uh, because the water has kind of spurted off and frozen and created like rooms essentially and one day Un skips school and she goes to the ice palace and she doesn't return that's in the synopsis and sis is now like kind of very upset because they developed a very intense connection very very quickly but oh, like i said there's just so much about obviously snow ice things getting frozen now sis is going into a frozen wasteland of her own which is grief well we don't know what's gonna happen to Un, who is uh, not returned from the ice palace. I have a feeling I might do a whole video on it because I just love winter books. I just love winter books so much. So this is going really great. That's my update on the ice palace. Love it. I was thinking it wasn't actually that cold when I was having my coffee, but now I don't have the coffee to warm me. And <laughs> I can feel my snot turning to icicles in my nose. I'm really glad I came out. I feel really good and I'm joined by a friend. The snow just makes me like so happy like nothing else. And I've just been having this like very big, well, it's always been a thing, but I've just wanted to move into somewhere that's like very much out of the city, that's just nature and I think recently that's just been like, it's been eating me alive, if I'm being honest. 
I just want to live in the woods or <laughs> in the mountains or something like that. It's something I've always, it's something I know I'm going to do. It's just like, I want to do it right now so badly. Yeah, it's like all I have been thinking about for the past week too, so. This guy literally just ran up to me here. Like, literally, and you too. Okay. I am so glad that I took this week to spend hours with the nature because it, I just feel like I know myself. I feel like I am the closest to myself. I feel the most beautiful, the most intelligent, the most kind and compassionate, and just like the most, I feel the most essence of myself when I'm with them. So that was amazing. And then at the end of the week, I decided to go to my university because I was just sad that I wasn't going to be able to see the beautiful campus once online started up. So I went there with my parents and Evie, who are all good, and we just walked around. There was a snowman, and the snowman was like, hey, it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay, the week is over. <laughs> I survived. The week is now done and I'm feeling a lot better today and during the last half of the week. Um, it's definitely been easier going than the first half, but I also wanted to say that I finished the Ice Palace and I love this so much. It's like 
the metaphor <laughs> of the ice palace is actually insane like how many levels you can read it on because like i said um un goes missing in the ice palace and then sis falls into absolute misery and depression but also trying to keep a promise that she's going to remember un no one can find her and so there's this huge search for her and just the the power of ice snow winter used as metaphor is one of my favorite things ever i think that's why i loved snow country so much by kawabata but this was actually incredible as well and i made a few notes i feel like i would like to do a whole video on this just because it was so spectacular but highly recommend it is such a subtle book but the structure of the ice palace and like its rooms and what it stands in what it stands in for amazing and also like the boundaries the way it reflects things um it acts as a sort of mirror and the mirroring of sis and un is also just incredible so yeah this was great i feel like it was exactly what i wanted to read and it was amazing so i'm so happy i picked that one up and thank you guys for the recommendation because i think this was recommended to me like a year ago so finally got around to reading that one and now i've ticked off a book for norway as well this is my first norwegian book so that's exciting i'm in a good mindset this morning i'm feeling a little tired a little weak but school starts this afternoon and so that's kind of the mindset i'm in is just getting ready for them and getting ready to go back to school because I've been off for a month um, and it feels like I don't even remember what university is so I think that's going to be a little bit of a struggle adjusting back but I'm going to start another vlog today since today is Monday. I wanted to say thank you so much for coming on this week's journey with me because it definitely felt like a journey and just trying to get back to myself and stop feeling so lost and sad. My parents are okay, they don't have COVID, it's just my brother who's still suffering uh, a lot with it, but I hope he's gonna be okay. I'm sure he's gonna be okay, so that's a little bit of stress off my shoulders and I'm feeling okay. So I will leave you here and I will start a new weekly vlog. Let me know if you like more of these in-depth I think emotionally charged ones where I do talk about books but I also talk about what's going on because it's really good for me honestly so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're doing okay we are all here for you um recently the comment section I feel like has just grown into like a flower garden of beautiful people <laughs> saying beautiful things helping each other talking to each other and it really makes me emotional thinking about it so I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Oh, ciao. <laughs>